Hey, Jim. Yeah. I thought our first newscast in 40 years went well last week. Yeah. Yeah. It's like we almost uh, never left. You know, and I think all the WPLJ and WABC people were listening, too. Yeah, I think a lot of them. Yeah. Do you think Jim Kerr would want to... Uh... No. Live on tape from New York and Indianapolis, the Jim and Pete Report News Briefs. Brought to you by the Jim and Pete Report News Briefs, the underwear anchormen wear. I'm Pete Spellos. He's Jim Brownald. Here now the news. In keeping with society's focus on racially insensitive names, Cleveland has decided to change its baseball team nickname, which they've had since 1901. Starting with the 2022 season, the Cleveland Indians will now be called the Cleveland Pakistanis. President Biden's approval rating in July was down 3%, with voters who identify as Taco Bell enthusiasts. In stark contrast, Biden's approval rating went up 11%, with voters who identify as Golden Girls groupies. The high-pitched whining, sometimes called the woke movement, is at it again. This time, the cancel culture club, instead of going after people, has set their sights on the English language. Their vitriol is currently aimed at the Whopper, footlong wieners, tuna tacos, guys named Rod, Woody, and Shlomo, and of course, pussy willows. And now with breaking news, here's senior correspondent Gus Washington. Gus? It's pudding day! So it is, Gus. So it is. <clears throat> Marvel has embraced the multiverse in current projects like Loki, and the upcoming Spider-Man and Doctor Strange feature films. Yet for those of us from the Woodstock generation, we've been aware of the multiverse since 1963, when Dr. Timothy Leary first dropped LSD. Hmm. Don't take the brown acid, Jim. Good advice. On the heels of James Gunn's highly successful Suicide Squad, DC may have reached a bit too far into their D-level heroes list. Their next film, the legion of kinda lame superheroes will include Yogurt Man, the constantly praying mantis, Sister Sludge, Balsa Boy, and of course Ladybug and her estranged husband, Herbie the Love Bug. NBC, reeling from the terrible ratings of the Tokyo Olympics, still has plans to air their Celebrity Olympics show later this month. Stars and events will include Woman's Javelin Catch with Bill Cosby, Synchronized Drinking, Ireland versus Scotland, and Tucker Carlson defending his mean and jerk title. <laughs> and now, with the lighter side of the news, is our foreign correspondent, Suzanne Dudley. Thanks, Suzanne, for that uplifting story, I think. Yesterday in New York City, a cat survived a fall from the fifth floor of a burning building. Asked for a comment, the pet owner responded, Next fall, I'm moving into the pet house. And finally, Norway has been voted the best place to be in these COVID times. Hmm. The worst place to be, of course, is next to Rudy Giuliani. Well, that's the news you never knew you needed to know. I'm Jim Brownold. He's Pete's fellows. And you're, well, you. You.